Hello everyone, we are going to do another Can We Save It? Now you're probably wondering, um, Heather, that doesn't really look like there's anything wrong other than the fact that I just dropped my phone on it and ruined a bloom. Ruined a bloom. Um, yeah, so you're probably wondering, that doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. Well, because there's not, but here is what we're going to save. So, yes, this has suddenly gone very south, very wrong, and <laughs> actually extremely quickly. Like, I saw this Monday night and was like, oh, some of the leaves are going bad, and I took some of the leaves off. And I was like, no, stop, this could be a good video. And it's gotten worse. That's... That was fine yesterday, and look at it now. So, yeah. Um, you know when I told the universe that I needed, um, you know, content for my channel, I didn't actually mean, hey, let's one by one kill all of my African violets. So, you know, I'm just setting this out there now that, no, I did not mean that. Um, so we can stop the shenanigans, just, just saying. So we're going to, we're going to fix this. And I have a better feeling about fixing this than we did the other ones, so maybe this is a better example. And I'm not really like, okay, I'm going to be upset if I don't save this, but I'm not going to be like, this is my only one, because I actually have the one I just showed you and another larger one. So I have plenty of these. And who knows if I have a leaf of it somewhere. So what I like to do, as I did in my other video, I like to confiscate one of my mom's pans um, and use that for dirt. Um, she's pr gotten pretty used to me um, using her kitchen stuff. Uh, we're going to take this out and see what's going on. Because I don't really know and like I said this happened really really fast. And it could just be that it's just gotten overly wet and not really wanting to dry out, which actually kind of feels a little bit on the damp side. And I think some of these that I have in my the smaller jars, this right here, a lot of the times these have like, this is foam right here, so they fit. Um, a lot of the times these have been pushed out so far that they just kind of fall in. Which, I know I need to fix that, but, you know, procrastination and laziness just kind of get to me. They kind of win. We're going to, um, take all these blooms off. Because we don't need all these blooms sucking up any more life out of this poor, decrepit plant. Because we don't know what's wrong with it just yet. And maybe we won't find out. Maybe we'll just do all this and... It magically just comes back alive. Or it might not. <laughs> so we're going to take all the blooms off. And now it looks even more sad. This stem doesn't feel all that bad though. I, I still... I know I kind of seem to be doing this a lot. Um, I kind of just like to, if something's not right with it, I've seemed to be on a kick with just kind of, that one's a little too floppy for me, um, just cutting this off. Um, it's just, I don't know how I got into it, it's just something that I do, I think it kind of just, you know, revives it or gives it a nice kick in the pants and gets it back going again, you know? I don't know, something tells me to cut this. I don't know why. The stem is just looking a little, you know, as I'm scraping my fingernail, and you can't see, as I'm scraping my fingernail, it just looks too brown. I think it just somehow got too wet in the cup. I mean, the, the soil is damp, actually, still. And I can't tell you the last time I watered it. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Okay, well, actually... That's not all that bad looking right there. We are going to, hmm, we're going to take that stem off. 
that one's kind of probably decent but I've actually planted um, some without these three just like the middle part and have done just fine I wish I could um, show you just what those are but I have a tendency to not label I'm taking this off too because it's just floppy now um, when you scrape it you don't want to like go completely crazy this is actually um, normally it's kind of easier to scrape off and it's really kind of being not so easy with me so don't think you can you need to scrape the crap out of it because you don't I've actually not scraped these before I guess this is kind of like don't do as I do do as I say <laughs> so yeah I don't know, that feels weird. I'm in like a really mood, weird mood today. I don't know what it is. This, for some reason, okay, that feels better. That's, that did not feel right. Okay, so we're not left with much. Um, hopefully, I'm getting this sort of on camera. I'm gonna tuck that away. Yeah, that's that's kind of what um where about my stuff we're going to take my mix and no i still don't have perlite there's some in here we're gonna hope for the best i actually just recently had somebody ask me about you know arriving one of their plants actually i might have to um hopefully that person's watching she's trying to revive hers and it actually kind of reminds me of mine in a in a way her leaves didn't look like mine it might it may have at one point but okay so I'm just going to put that in there I just kind of fill it up to the top it's damp um, I use um, soilless mix which is peat moss uh, vermiculite and perlite equal amounts um, I don't really have much Mary or blah, blah, blah. I don't have a lot of perlite, so there's just a little bit in here, but it'll be fine because I tend to not, I've learned not to like this soil mixture um, for, you know, bagged, bagged things are growing because I think they just die too quickly. They, they get you dried out. Okay, I'm in a word funk today. Too dried out. So I'm just going to take this and we are going to just plop that in there. Um, what I like to do, and I was not prepared for this, because as usual Heather style, I always forget at least one thing. We're going to put more dirt on that. Which is the toothpicks that I like to use to hold it up. Weird quirk I do. But you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Being some of these, you know, case in point like this one that doesn't have much of a base you kind of need a support system so your the the toothpicks are providing a, a support system and I'm going to steal one from this one because if not I will have to um, stop the video and go in the kitchen I just kind of like to go around it very carefully just to kind of you know so it has like some kind of an anchor just so that it gives it some you know it holds it in place kind of so it can do its thing okay and I, what I like to do next and I need to like take care of that because that's dry and we're gonna put it back over there um I like to bag things that are you know not really doing that well so and one way I like to bag them um, because putting just this in a bag tends to be unstable in some ways um, so if you have like a bigger cup you can just stick that in there and even that doesn't want to act right and I'm going to get a bag and what I didn't do and I should have done and we're gonna do well no, normally, and what I forgot to do. So this is this was bad. This was this was bad me. Normally, what I for, would would have done was put in the wick for the bottom, 
but this might stay here a while so no you know what for the sake of the video I'm putting the wick in and I've actually done it this way before I don't really recommend it um when I first started wicking I actually had all of these planted mind you I didn't have that many to begin with um and I had to do this while they were planted so I don't really recommend that that course of action it takes a lot of um you know finesse um I did have a crochet needle at the time helping me I'm just gonna kind of shove that back in there I may have cut I may I usually do cut it sometimes but we're just gonna shove it back in there for the sake of video um so there you go now what I like to do other than fix and adjust that should be fine is take a bag this is kind of a pre-use from another um, bagged one that I'm not really sure where I have put it um, and you just place it in the bag the empty cup just kind of like gives it another little anchor because these can get a little unruly and voila there you go you're going to leave it in here watch it hope for the best and in a few weeks we will periodically check in on it and see how it's doing and we might have an African violet that's bigger and we might have one that's like you know all that so that is how you do it that's how I do it We'll check and see how well this is doing in a few weeks. Thanks for watching.